Hello. Welcome back to Catherine's Corner in Catherine's bedroom. Today's my birthday. I already have my skincare on. Today we're going to use my Norvina palette because I have purple pants on, but you can't see because I have a white shirt on. I have an itchy nose. Just remembered I forgot to take my antihistamine. I'll do it later. So I decided I wanted to dress up a little bit. I even had beads on today. So we're going to... What are we going to start with? Start with an eye primer. That doesn't belong in there. That's mascara. Why is mascara in with my eye primers? And my granddaughters have not been playing in my makeup drawers. My goodness, where did these go? In here. fashion elf. One of these is almost empty. We'll find out which one it is. Let's turn the old mirror up to mega magnify. And let's put some on. So a piece of there we go. Now, should we put the brows on next or should we put the brows on later? What do you think? I think we'll do the brows next. I'll give the primer just a second to sit. Oh, I have my glasses on. Let's get instant brow lift. Which color do I want? Oh God, I can't read these colors. But I got wise. Went to Dollar Tree, got me a magnifying glass. So I can read these things. Does it help? Ah, kind of. Neutral brown. Ha <laughs> ha. That sounds like a good shade. Neutral brown it is. We might have to touch these up a little bit later, but. It's gonna be humid and maybe rainy. I took all the plants out of my grow room, my grow tent. And most of them are outside under the picnic table, except for a few that I brought back in the house. Um, while I was sick, a few of them suffered from a little bit of thirst and a little bit of mealy bug. So I put them outside, sprayed them off real good. And I was hoping some natural insect control would take over. And it looks like it did. So I have to um, kind of um, take off any dead leaves that are left on there. I did that the other day to um, 
a couple of the plants that weren't worse for the wear. And um, I'll bring them in and put them out on the front porch, which is my, I call their vacation home. Oops, I just dropped my glasses on the floor. Excuse me. Not a good place for very expensive glasses. Let's open the drawer and put them in the drawer. Okay. What color? Oh, gosh. I need the glasses to see again. What are we going to start with? Okay, that one says base. Well, let's use the little um, brush that comes with the Norvina palette to put the base on. How's that sound? I'll put on the color that says base to set the primer. Let's put it all over the eye. This can be a little bit dusty, even Anastasia palettes, but I love them. I took the Potato and Miss Diva into Alta for their first visit to Alta. And to say they were enamored is an understatement. They had a ball in the testers. Uh, <laughs> we had to clean their hands off. <laughs> they were covered in tester. But they had a ball and they liked it. And while we were in there, I had two of my favorite YouTubers review the new Cosmos palette and one absolutely hated it. She ripped it off something terrible. And the other one just gave it the most glowing review. And I says, oh, I was torn because I, it looks so pretty online. And uh, so I went and looked at it and I swatched it. And I was just, uh, I didn't buy it when I was with the girls, but oh, I think I'm going back and getting that palette because it is so pretty. What am I going to use for a crease shade? I think maybe I'll use this kind of pinky shade here for the crease. Some of those duochromes are just, oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Like I need another eyeshadow palette, like I need a hole in my head. But they're so pretty. And I looked on my Ulta app and I have like $20 worth of points. So, I think I'm going to use those points towards the Cosmos palette and um, get myself a present. And do I have the same depth on both eyes? I need a little more pink on this eye. Very nice. But it was really fun seeing the girls playing in Alta because they had never ever been. I really took them to Five Below. A while back I had taken the girls and bought them phone cases. And a nasty stepchild broke the potatoes. So we went back to replace it. And they didn't have the same phone case and we were a little disappointed. So I says, well, let's go look at Alta for while we're there because they'd never been. And they really were excited. And they had fun swatching and playing. We'll do this. Can't really see, can you? This one, this purple. And uh, 
And we went over to Dollar Tree because I can afford Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I let them have a shopping spree at Dollar Tree. So they went a little ham at the Dollar Tree, but they can, uh, I don't have to watch the prices at Dollar Tree. I just say, you want it? Put it in the cart. I really wanted, I saw a YouTuber talk about they had had some um, selfie light rings at his Dollar Tree, but we didn't have them at any of our Dollar Trees yet. I don't know if we'll get them. A lot of times we never get what the YouTubers out West get for their Dollar Trees, you know? But sometimes we do get things. So I can just look. Mm -hmm. That's kind of nice. Switch, 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 switch. I like that little quick, quick switch. Color quick switch the brush. I think we're going to use this pretty periwinkle color. Um, Trying to think if I need to use my finger or a brush for that one. Let me see if I have a packing brush, see how it works. I so wish I wasn't so blind. I didn't used to be so blind. <laughs> As a teenager into my 20s and even 30s, I didn't wear glasses. Don't need it. Oh, this is a pretty shade. Pack this on there. Norvina is such a pretty palette. I remember I used my points to buy this one and I paid like 60 cents or something. It was fun being able to get a beautiful palette for like next to nothing. Mm. I got a little too much down there. Oh well, we can clean that up with a little micellar water. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, how I love. How I love purples and pinks. I like greens too. Greens go good with purple and pinks. I hope there aren't any greens on this palette. Let's see. We'll get a little bit of darkness in there. We'll put this one over here. Where's that little? Cornery one. I know I saw it. Oh, this one will work. We'll put some dark. This one looks the darkest. Oh, we'll just stick this up here like so. Let's see what we do here. We'll get some dark in the corner and up in the crease a little. <laughs> I extended out a little too far. That's okay. Mistakes happen. That's why we have cotton swabs. <sighs> Wonderful tools. I'm no makeup artist. I've watched YouTubers and friends. And then I play. And I experiment. One day I'll experiment more. Go a little ham. Haven't done that yet. Whoops. Just stuck my knuckles in my eyeshadow. 
Let's take a fluffy and kind of blend this a little bit over here. Let's see what I can do. Same over here. Let's make it pretty. Mm. Yeah, I think. Get any color off of it. Let's see, is this a little teeny? Nope, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want a little teeny brush. Yeah, this one. I want to put. I want to put an inner corner highlight. Do I want to put pink or do I want to put this goldy color? I think I'm going to go with the goldy color. Ooh, it's pretty too. Oh wait, that's the base. What am I doing? I'll go to the one above it. It's got more sparkle. There we go. Oh, that's better. <laughs> that's much better. Got way more sparkle now. Why didn't you guys warn me I was putting the base back on? <sighs> Ta-da! Do I have anything I want to put underneath? I put that on. Now, I think that's good. I think what I'm going to put on underneath is I got this new eyeliner I want to check out. Got it at the Dollar Tree. Um, I might need my glasses to find it because I threw it in with the other eyeliners. Let's, let's dig. Should be right on top. Here it is. I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, they're, they're um, Ioni, and they were like on an end cap, and they had all kinds of, they were real pretty packaging. And they had this one, it's called Windsor Stone, and it's pretty purple, and it's supposed to be waterproof and everything. So I says, ooh, purple. They had another one too. Um, that we'll try later. It's a green color. It's called Mars Green. So we'll try that another day. Right now we're putting this one on. Let's put the glasses back there so I don't lose them. Let's see how this goes on the water line. Or well, well not the water line, right up to the water line. I might have something else I want to put in the waterline. If I get this right, I always tight line. You guys know that. Right up on the lashes. It tickles. Hmm. I think it's pretty. See how it stays.
clean up a little bit of that fallout underneath. Whoops. I refilled this with a new micellar water. I wanted to try it out. Um, it's Joa. It's a green tea and matcha. good for now. Shall we do some mascaras? Let's open. Let's use the open stuff up. This has got to be just about. I don't even know. I can't see what this one is. I don't know. Whatever it is, we're putting it on. Good enough for now. What you think? And for primer, I think we're going to use this e.l.f. primer. I don't know how much is left in the jar. It's really hard to see. I don't know. There's quite a bit in there, I think. I'm going to use it. Cover up some of my redness. And we're going to use some of that... Um, Primer corrector too. Um, color corrector rather, not primer corrector. I feel so good going on. I don't think I make they make that color anymore. They make a color correcting one, but I don't think they make it in that purple color. Around to have two mirrors going here. Cover a lot of the red in my chin. And my birthmark up here, which you can see more if I get sick or if I get angry. Stuff is good if you got red. What foundation do I want to use? I guess I'm trying to use this up, so we'll use this. This um, it CC cream. I gotta get rid of it. It's getting old, so let's use it. I was really hoping I want to get some of those really light serum creams for summer. But I got, the kids bought me all those beauty blenders, well, generic beauty blenders, but they work well anyway. So I'm going to use that. That will help sheer it out a little bit. So it won't be quite so thick on my face the hair out of the way for a little bit. I should have found my headband, huh? Oh well. 
That's sitting around here somewhere. Push that in a little bit. Very good. Oh, here's my thingy from my Norvina palette. I always save those things. I'll put that away later. But what do I want to use? I got this in a box. Shall we try this? How does this work? Oh, okay, it twists up. We'll try one cheek at a time here. Oh, it's creamy. It's Fenty Beauty. I'm not really good with cream products, but everybody is just using them. And they say even if you have oily and combo skin, you can use them. It came in one of my, came in my last beauty box. My um, Ipsy um, color. Oh, Ipsy beauty. Who did they take over? Lord, I've gone brain dead. You know who they took over. Yeah, boxy charm. I don't think I'm going to put it under there. I'll just bounce whatever's on my sponge. That's not bad. What do you think? We'll give it a minute to dry. And we'll help it along just a bit and we'll put some powder on. Kind of other ones, or do I want? Where's my glasses? Here they are. I have so many to choose from. I really need to organize because this has turned into quite the mess again. Oh, let me see. Anastasia bronzer here. Um, powder bronzer for face and body. This is called Tawny. Since I have Anastasia on my eyes, we'll put some on my hand. <laughs> is it against the rules if you mix Fenty and Anastasia together? We'll find out. Where's my favorite bronzer brush? Here it is. Tell you, your powder bronzer sticks a whole lot better when you got a cream on underneath. Make sure I get it up into the hairline. Looks like I'm actually getting a tan. Woohoo! I rarely tan. That 
that's pretty good. Now we need a nice blush. Gotta be pretty, gotta be pretty. What do we wanna use for blush? Oh, that's all bronzers. Oh, I have this e.l.f. blush. Um, I don't, can't read this. Always rose. Always rose, always rosy. Um, it's one of their primer-infused blushes. I love these. We should take my glasses off to put these on. I will now. Because I want to do this. And put a little bit there. And put a little bit there. Put a little bit there. And go across your nose a little. It's so pretty. I get a little ham with the I think, I think before I put powder on top. I am going to go ahead and put highlighter on too. Because I think I'm gonna use something glowy. I think I'm going to use this Becca highlighter. It's really glowy. And if it if I get too much on. like that <laughs> I can always tame it down with the powder now which powder do I want to use today an old favorite or do I want to try something? Let's see what do we got here. Loose setting powder from Anastasia. Let's try that again. Get out my favorite powdery brush of all times. It's this It brush. I love this one. crazy with that highlighter. Mm -hmm. See if this powder will take it down a little bit. Hmm. I think it looks nice. I spill it. And what do 
what are we gonna use for a setting spray? I have so many to choose from today. I think I wanna try, I got this. It's got little rose petal things in it. It's a rose mist one. Mm. Went a little ham. <laughs> there. Things looking. We'll press everything in a little bit. Just some of that setting spray. Maybe put a little bit more eyebrow back on. What do you think? I thought I might need to. Just a tad. And we need a lipstick. Oh, let's see. We are going to use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Take that. I put some lip ointment on earlier. Make sure I took that off. Nope, oh, that's the wrong one. That's not the one I wanted. Wrong lip liner. It's an itty bitty sample one, but that's okay. birthday look. What do you think? Can't ever do anything with the hair though. That's just, I never could. I never was a hair guru. <sighs> never was good with makeup until my late, <laughs> late fifties. <50s. laughs> well, thank you guys for joining me here at Catherine's Corner. I know I enjoy it when you come along. I hope you do too. Thank you so much. Have a pleasant day. Bye now. Come back again soon.